Good Wednesday. Want this in your inbox every morning? Sign up here. How McKinsey stumbled into an illegal project, and a huge scandal it is perhaps the world's most prominent consultancy, one that has shaped government policy and helped Wall Street conquer new markets. But McKinsey blundered when it took on a project at South Africa's state-owned power company, Eskom. It promised a payout of up to $700 million, but proved to be deeply unpopular, probably unsuccessful, and illegal. More from Walt Bogdanish and Michael Forsyth's NYT investigation. The plan left several McKinsey partners uneasy. Could Eskom absorb and apply McKinsey's recommendations? And how would a contract with an anticipated payout in the hundreds of millions of dollars be received by South Africans? Also troubling was the fact that McKinsey had won the contract without competitive bidding. You are betting the office, one former partner recalled warning colleagues. If the final payout became public, that official added, you are going to be slaughtered just for the size. The bottom line, McKinsey has apologized and asked its 2,000 partners to repay fees on the project. But the damage isn't over, it's still under investigation in South Africa and frozen out by some businesses there, including the local arm of Coca-Cola. GE is shrinking itself. Investors can't wait. After a year-long review, the unwieldy industrial conglomerate unveiled a sweeping turnaround plan yesterday that includes spinning out its healthcare business and selling its stake in the oil field equipment maker Baker Hughes. It will also reduce its huge debt load, and cut lots of costs. That's an ambitious set of moves. Investors, especially the activist Nelson Peltz, appeared pleased, with GE. Shares up nearly 8% yesterday. To some analysts, it all looked like a rebuke of the company's previous CEO, Jeff Immel, who championed both the businesses that are being sold. Deal books take GE. is doing what analysts and investors have long demanded. But its CEO, John Flannery, cannot expect much slack from shareholders. They have waited years for a recovery and want to see quick results. China plays down its tech obsession, but it won't fool Trump. President Trump has made it very clear that the trade fight with China is largely about technology. Beijing's reaction might be too little, too late. 